The auction that's happening at Graceland is one of the many new initiatives this year. Some of the things that you can expect at this year's auction at Graceland is over 50 pieces uh, from Greg Page's collection. He is a founding member of the children's group, The Wiggles from Australia. He actually has a museum there called the King's Castle, um, where he had these, some of these pieces on display. Um, he has a rather large collection, so this is just a small portion of it. The unique thing about the auction is that all the items are authenticated from the Graceland Authenticated Company, and all the items are owned by a third party. So there's nothing from Graceland's archives that is being sold. Everything is from outside collectors. But it's a great opportunity to offer collectors, as well as fans alike, if they wanted to own a little piece of Elvis and to be sure that the piece they're buying was authenticated, this is the place to have it. One of the unique pieces in the auction is this library card. This actually is the earliest known signature of Elvis that we have, his complete signature in seventh grade. And this is the script from his first movie, Love Me Tender. The unique thing about it is that it actually is stamped on the front. It says, please forward to Elvis Presley. And they actually changed the name of the film. So you can see where they hand wrote in it, Love Me Tender. It originally was entitled The Reno Brothers. It actually was a script that had been sitting around for several years before Elvis got a hold of it and recorded it. And these are several pieces from Elvis' personal jewelry collection that he had given away or um, um, to friends or family members. They're all stage worn. This is the Australian Fire Opal. And then this is another beautiful ring, again dated in the late 60s, early 70s. Um, we have pictures of Elvis wearing this gold nugget ring. It's the Black Star Sapphire. But my favorite piece of this collection of jewelry is here. This is the Lion Heads Pendant. Elvis received several honors throughout his career. This is just one of the many that he got when he was in Las Vegas. This is actually the key to the city of Las Vegas. They presented him this for shattering all the city's attendance records and for his outstanding performances at the International Hotel. Now speaking of Vegas in 69, we have this song list, handwritten, by Elvis, and it really shows you how Elvis really took control of the show. And then again, this is Vegas in 69, so it was very important to him to make the right impression and to put on a show that he was proud of and that he knew the fans would enjoy. And this military leaf pass, lots of people are probably familiar with if you ever were in the military and you had to ask for leave. Elvis got no special treatment while he was in the military and he was like everyone else and had to ask for leave if he wanted to go do something. And this is from 1975 and again represents Elvis in concert, Elvis on stage, the Elvis that a lot of people remember. It's a 1975 Martin D28. Elvis actually began playing Martins in the 1950s and then went to Gibson and Fender, so there were some other brands in there, but by 75, he went back to Martin, and this is just one of several that Elvis had in his collection. There are 72 lots. The auction actually goes live online starting August the 1st, and the actual physical auction will be here at Graceland on August the 14th at seven o'clock. I think collectors are gonna have a great experience here at the Graceland Auction. And we're hoping that everyone um, enjoys themselves and really um, has a good time here.